Okay, today I want to show you the one foot、uh, detail contour map of my favorite lake at、uh, Rogers Run in Arlington, Virginia, USA. It's right by the Washington D.C. Reagan National Airport. It is a tidal lake. It's a salt. Well,、um, you can get the tides、uh, table from this website, saltwatertides.com. I have no association with this web website, so、um, I'm not in any way related to this website. That's my disclosure. And、uh, you can pick the Washington D.C. to see tide table for Rogers Run Lake.、Um, if you know an app that can do this as well,、uh, different app. Well,、uh, let、uh, my viewers know too. The Virginia fishing license is required, even though this、uh, little lake、um, is under the management of Washington.、Uh, I mean, under the、um, federal government, just like. Um, um, Some national park, they are、uh, under the federal government, but、uh, it is、um, the state still governs the fishing activities on that lake. And、um, I will not eat the fish I caught in here because of the water discharge from Pentagon. And I was warned once by a fire of、um, after. You know, I was done fishing there. When I get home, that's the first thing I should do. So, you know, I guess from time to time they discharge something, or they detect, or they tested the water quality.、Um, that's why. No gas motor in this forty-plus、uh, acres lake. By the way, it is forty-plus acre.、Um, You need a DC fishing license if you enter into Gravely Point to fish, which is right across the Garden、uh, George Washington Parkway. I have caught gar fish in here, snakeheads in here, carp here, catfish, shad, striped bass, crappy,、uh, perch, both white perch and yellow perch.、Um, so it is、uh, a lake. Full of fish and especially all kinds of nice fish.、Um, oh yeah, regular bass,、uh, both smallmouth bass and largemouth bass in、uh, Rogers Run.、Uh, smallmouth bass is actually very rare,、uh, mostly largemouth bass. And the snakeheads are in the lily pads area, so we are going to go there now. Uh, let me. So this is Rogers Run Lake. Let me go to this、uh, contour map for you. So as you can see, this is a、uh, federal government、uh, Potomac River depth chart. It's chart number one two two eight nine, and you can see this is the Rogers Run waterfowl sanctuary. This is the lake. We're talking about, and this、um, is the green、uh, vegetation area. These places are very shallow. The parking lot is right here, and you launch from the parking lot into、uh, the lake, and the lake is forty acres. And these are like these、uh, green area. They are. Actually, water is just shallow, and、uh, summertime it's these、uh, lily pads、uh, grown in this area, and the majority of lily pads are right across the boat launch area. That's where you can catch the snake ass in here, and it is Rogers Run is a tidal lake. It's connected it into Potomac River,、um, so the big fish like gar, like、um, Garfish and also carps, they all go into here with the incoming tides to spawn in here, 
uh, especially the guardfish, you can catch them on Father's Day, like June 6th around. That's the best time to catch guardfish and also snakeheads. Snakeheads, you can catch them year round. I caught snakeheads in the lily pads area and also in the middle of the um, lake right here. And I also caught snakeheads at the discharge area uh, to the left. Um, there's a, a tree under and they hide under and knee uh, in, in the tree deep. Um, and all these this area it's crappies and, and um, bass. Um, the garfish, I caught them in the middle of the lake most of the time. Actually all the time. I mean they are concentrated in this area, the garfish, and they hunt on the surface as well. So a uh, four inch, four and a half inches uh, minnow will be your best bet for the lure to be to use. And as you can see, this chart um, is produced by the federal government. And uh, let's go there. See if we can see this. Uh, just wait a little bit so this um, can focus. Good. See. This is Georgetown um, Channel, and this is the Theodore Roosevelt Island. And this chart, 12289, is produced by the federal government, um, NOAA. Uh, let me try to bring up NOAA.gov so you know what federal government uh, this is. It's called National Oceanic National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. It's it below it's it's in the US Department of Commerce. Um so this is the federal government website and they produce these nice depth chart. And you can see uh, the Georgetown Washington Channel next to the Theodore Roosevelt Island is in the 20 feet, 25 feet, um, 30 feet, you know, channel. And um, over here, it's very shallow. And you can see this is four feet. Um, and this is the channel you want to go uh, when you go boating. You don't want to go into the left side of the Theodore Roosevelt Island if you have a bigger boat because the water here is very shallow. You can see these are one foot and these are a, a submerged uh, obstacle. And this is the um, Lincoln Memorial. It's very pretty. This is the TRB Route 66 bridge. Uh, a lot of people actually park their boat here to try to catch the um, catfish in the deep channel here. You can see 31 feet and then all of a sudden it became very shallow. So this quick decline is a very good area for the big fish to hide and try to prey on the small fish, uh, unnoticed the small fish uh, al along the shore. And um, we could, we keep Let's keep moving down the river. And this row here is called Ohio Drive. And this is the tidal basin. So along the tidal basin, this is the cherry blossoms. Cherry blossoms are here. And also along the Ohio Drive. You can park, you can find parking here. It's all uh, metered parking. And you can see this uh, channel actually go very shallow over here. And um, you can have a very nice view of Washington Monument at the gate of the Tidal Basin, outside of the Tidal Basin in the Potomac River. Um, there's the, um, there's the, the bridge. And this is the Pentagon Lagoon. Pentagon is right here. You can see there is even depths uh, of this little Pentagon Lagoon, but there is no depth uh, in the Roaches Run. And that's uh, what this video is about. I'm going to try to chart uh, this 
chart my own lake using my Raymarine Axion multifunction display or the fish finder and Navionics plus uh, chart map. Um, this is Gravely Point where I launched my boat into the Potomac River and this is Reagan National Airport you can see here Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport and you can see the water depth is three feet going out to eight to six and then along the uh, Washington Airport it's actually pretty shallow here so you don't want to drive your boat to the right hand side you want to go to the left or go straight out into the channel and then you go um, up or down up river or down river this is Haynes Point and um, you know which is they have a golf, nice golf course in here um, I caught trolling in this Washington Channel here for striped bass many times in here okay so if you want to troll for striped bass this is the place to go a lot of fish in here right here in this section and because it's very deep um, Haynes Point is very pretty if you never hike in this island uh, or bike in this island you want to do it it's very pretty anyway so there's no like I said there's no depths or a contour of Roaches Run so I'm going to show you um, the video in a sec let me just go to Google map of uh, contour map Let's uh, see if we can go there. Okay, here we go. Google Maps. Let's go to Google Maps and let's get uh, Roaches Run. Okay, that brings up the Roger's run, and let's turn this into satellite. So this is the Gravely Point boat ramp, um, and this is the parking lot. So you can there you can launch two boats in this slot here two boats in this slot here so you can launch four boats at the same time it's a lighted a um, boat ramp it's a free boat ramp as well so you can see from this uh, satellite map that uh, this area it's very shallow this area it's very shallow when the tide is going out this area actually expose itself um, to very shallow to within maybe six inches of water um, and this is the little parking lot uh, it hardly gets filled because most of the people are waiting here for um, to pick up their passengers or their friends and relatives that's coming in and leaving uh, and mostly coming in from um, the uh, into the Reagan National Airport so um, this is very shallow and over here it's mostly 10 feet deep uh, in the deeper end and this is the Long Bridge Park there's a railroad track you can you don't need a boat to get here you can actually just walk park here and then walk around all the way to here to try to fish this lily pets area it's actually doable so let's uh, bring up um, bring up this video here here we go so this is the um, the fish finder and um, the 
time that I did this scanning was 2.47 in the afternoon local time. So you, I have to enable the sonar chart live and sonar login in order to be able to do this uh, contour map. Um, so as you can see here, there's no water depths and there's water depths here in the Gravely Point area. So, you know, and uh, as you can see, it's 2.47 p.m. I'm launching my boat from this black dots. As you can see here, actually my kayak and you can see going out into the um, roaches run here so so let me just quickly rewind the tape and I'm going out redirecting my kayak um, as you can see here I'm going out at 1.1 mile per hour and the water depth is already at 8 feet deep the water temperature um, is 65 degrees um, a lot warmer in Roaches Run it's a lot warm well right now it's a lot warmer um, as well in April a lot warmer than 40 degrees at Burke Lake okay right now my depth is 7.98 feet speed over ground is 0.6 mile and the local time is 2.51 p.m. and I'm using a Raymarine Axiom 9 real view 100 3d transducer and this is north up and um, this is Roaches Run, Arlington, Virginia, USA. That's my YouTube channel. And um, let's go quickly to now it's getting to, I'm speeding up 1.3, 8.4 feet deep. And this is the Roaches Run Lake I'm trying to chart. And here is the Lady Pass area. That day, on that day, I actually caught a bass in the Lady Pass area. And this is 1.3 mile per hour now. I'm getting going faster, going deeper, going into the middle of the lake. There's my waypoint. There's the um, hump, shallow flat, in the really cover underwater. So these green areas are actually underwater. It's just very shallow, more like a two feet um, at low tide and four to five feet at uh, the high tide. So don't be full. It's actually covered by water and now um, my speed is uh, 0.9 mile per hour let's see where where is my boat here we go here's my kayak so let me move this up so we can see this better there is my Slayer propel 10 feet kayak it's a propel drive so it's very uh, nice I can uh, ha have hands free to try to fish um, because I use my feet to kick the pedal and uh, so my boat can go uh, forward. Uh, it's pretty stable. It's also, uh, I can pedal against the wind as 2. Point, uh, what is it, 2.3 uh, 2 3.3 3 miles per hour. Um, so I can, you know, depending on how strong you are, you know, you can, you can pedal this thing really fast. So I'm uh, messing around with the settings a little bit here trying to make sure i'm on sonar chart life um, and logging because i didn't see any contour map showed up so i decided to go back to mess up mess around with the setting that's why my speed is down to 0.2 mile per hour almost drifting the speed over ground is down to 0.2 mile per hour because i wasn't pedaling the depth is 9.5 feet and the this is uh, right now it's very low tie from what I remember when I got there it was low tie pretty low tie so here we go I'm trying to resume in again and you can see the chart started the the contour uh, started uh, the line started to show after I uh, re re redid the setting okay let's see so it takes a little bit of time, a little, little bit of time for the fish finder to lock into the satellites uh, in the sky to to position my boat. So you know that's why it's so I'm changing um, to chart and side vision to see uh, what's underneath my boat. This is at ten feet deep of what? Oh, you can see four six. Four feet, six feet, five feet, the contour map started to show. 
yeah, you can see the nine feet deep, nine feet contour map, ten feet deep, ten feet contour map. Started to show now. Went back to check the setting again. Yeah, when you're on the water, it's uh, very difficult to see what's on the fish finder because of the sun glare, and um, that's why it, you know I recorded onto the iPhone and. Um, you know, did this video after I got home, so it's much easier to um, illust or to show you the video like this, um, so you can see what exactly uh, was on the was on the fish finder. Otherwise, with the sun glare and everything, it's just very hard to see. Now this black dot is my kayak, and you know I'm trying to I don't know make a waypoints or something, I guess. You know, here is the side vision. Uh, I guess I, um, yeah. Ray Marine actually said that one of the tips is to how to use the fish finder is to set the depth, set set the scanning range to be three times of your water depth. So if your water depth is ten feet, like like what I see. Um, then you should scan 30 feet to the right and 30 feet to the left okay that's how you can best utilize your site fish finder so let's see so I started to use the traditional sonar because um, I didn't see much um, oh here we go you see we got some um, nice fish image in see that big and I started put this a, a, a scope a scope is uh, basically showing you um, the water depths, or actually the, the the radius, or the diameter, or the circle right underneath the boat. So I'm playing with, uh, you know, three D transducer. So I'm just playing with the setting again, um, and I don't even know what I was trying to do. This thing is still um, they got lots of functions, and uh, you can split the the chart and the sonar so I decided to change the sonar and this is where you go you change the sonar and um, I guess I wasn't quite sure where I was or what I was trying to do uh, let's fast forward this it's kinda of boring you can see that's a big fish there the water depth is 9 feet oh you see that big fish of course I'm you know, just underneath the surface, three feet to ten feet. With this zoom window here, and this is the A scope, basically saying my transducer can look down into a um, circle uh, with diameter of four feet. Of uh, so it's a it's a four feet uh, diameter circle. Uh, see, that's a big turtle or fish. I don't know. Looks like a turtle to me with these two long legs. That's a fish. That's a small fish. Yeah, I don't know what this is. And you can see the contour map has started to get together. I should really zoom in or increase the uh, range so you can see better. Now I'm really shallow. My depth is only two feet, three feet, and you can see my uh, circle is uh, only 1.3 feet in diameter because I'm in the very shallow area. And you can see from the contour mag, three feet, four feet, five feet, nine feet, six feet, you know. So definitely shallow towards this green area. Yeah, you see this? I started the game speed a little bit, 0.1 mile per hour. Yeah, so you can see the one foot uh, kaya as I was driving around uh, one speed over the ground, 1.5 per mile, mile per hour, water temperature 65. This fish is definitely something big, but it's just resting on the floor of the uh, Burke Lake. You can see nine feet, 10 feet, seven feet, five feet, you know three four so this red area means it's very shallow here that's a big fish
that's a that, that that's a big fish you know so there you go you see the left hand side very nice contour map of uh, roaches run and this is the lower right hand corner is where i launch my boat and you can see that go into the middle of the lake so when you go in, when you launch your boat go into the middle of the lake try to fish the left hand side because that's where the shallow is that's where i caught the garfish snakeheads and so forth okay good luck and uh, subscribe and uh, i'm gonna have uh, the second video of this thing coming up soon thanks for watching